Amatala makes Time 100 most influential people in the world. Every diva needs an encore. Africa celebrates Omo Sexy. Along the way, there are some people who have helped carve your career. And I'm asking this because you tell me that you do need a support system. First and foremost, my husband. You know, he's been there all this while. And he always believed in me. You know, so him, number one. Um, then I remember, you know, um, Presido, that's what we call him, the shake of the industry, Zebejiro. I remember him because when I was just 15 years old, he saw, he saw greatness, according to him, in me. I would say number three, you know, um, I would say Michael Jabba, you know, that's my manager right now. Even though he came into my life at the point where my career had been settled, you know, I mean, that's actually a very dangerous time for people to come into your life because then you don't even know why they're coming into your life. You're thinking, okay, are you coming because you just want to rub off, you know, the goodness and just be there. But this is one young man who challenges me. Take me back to you starting a reality TV show that was the first of its kind in Africa. I know that reality shows bring a lot of eyes and prying eyes and, you know, it just invites everybody attention. into your life, mm -hmm. attention and all of that. And I didn't want my family exposed in that way. I knew it was going to be very difficult for even I to adjust to. And so it was a struggle. It was a struggle to do. And then I guess the question comes, so why did you do it? <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, <laughs> why? <laughs> I guess the rebel in me just always wants to find out, <laughs> you know. Um, let me say this here. Sometimes I do things, not necessarily because I want to eventually continue to do it. I do things sometimes because I just want to break the ceiling. 